Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video here to talk all about Monster Hunter Wild. We do have a new post by Capcom going over some of the issues. Also, I do want to cover the concurrent player count and a lot of those elements, which I'm sure is going to be something assessed over the course of the next month or so as we see the numbers fluctuate, but the game has been outstandingly successful. Mixed Steam reception aside, which we'll talk about, the game is an outstanding success and to think a decade ago if anybody was to ever tell me that Monster Hunter was going to be this gargantuan of a franchise. Like, I remember playing Monster Hunter Freedom on the PSP and it was an incredibly niche franchise back then. Even when Monster Hunter, like, Tri came out on the Wii and some of those games, it wasn't until World where it really blew up as a franchise. But this is at a whole nother level for Monster Hunter World. This is legitimately, and I had been saying it going into the release of this game, uh, it's going to end up being one of the biggest game releases of the year. And I was of the mindset that, hey, it's funny how in February every year we seem to get these big games. Like February of 2022, uh, we had the release of Elden Ring. And I had consistently reiterated, well, let's not compare this game to Elden Ring because Elden Ring's at a whole other level. Well, Monster Hunter Wilds actually smashed Elden Ring's concurrent player count record, which is insane to think about. But we'll talk about that in a little bit. Let's first talk about the Steam Community page post, which honestly, some of this stuff I find a little bit insulting um, just because, and it's just not Monster Hunter Wilds. Whenever a bad PC version comes out, the first line I feel like they have to get in and maybe they just do it because you know, maybe there are a few people that have this issue, but let's talk about it. We've put up a troubleshooting guide. Please consult this guide if you're experiencing any issues with the game. Troubleshooting. When the game does not run properly, please try the steps below. Make sure you meet the minimum uh, system requirements of the game. Okay, I get that you kind of need to mention that right out the gate to eliminate the people that are under the requirements, but... I find it so insulting that that's immediately what you go to. And to me, it just feels like you're like, oh, it's it's a your PC thing. It's like, bro, it's not a my PC thing. I'm talking to people on RTX 4060, 4070, 4080. Actually have nobody um, that's like a in real life friend that's on a 50 series GPU right now. But you see people with a 5080 running the game. It's like, bro, we all have a good enough PC. It ain't our PC. I will get so agitated agitated whenever a publisher puts out a poor PC version and immediately the first thing, make sure your PC, it's like, bro, I am well above the minimum system requirements. What is the minimum system requirements of a monster, of monster, isn't it a GTX 1060? Bro, it's a GTX 1660. What do you think I am? Trying to play this game on a damn GT 1030? Like, of course I'm above the system requirements. And it's not just Monster Hunter Wilds, I get it. It's just to me, this game has so many issues that right off the rip, it's like, Make sure you meet the minimum system requirements. It's like, bro, we all meet the minimum system requirements outside of the 2% of people that are trying to play this game. Uh, their Intel integrated HD 2000 graphics. Like, yeah, we know that's not going to work, but uh, we're all above the minimum system requirements. Like, oh my God, update your video and graphics drivers. Okay, that I actually understand because so many people will jump into games without updating their drivers. I've talked to people that legitimately don't update their drivers uh, for months at a time. So like significant driver updates will come out and then three months later, they'll batch install all of that. You should regularly update your drivers. I get it. You got to go through the shader compilation nonsense and that's always whack but uh, it is what it is check for windows updates and ensure all of your latest programs are installed into your os if you still experience issues try performing a clean installation of the video driver set like bro nobody's trying to do all this like can we just be real here nobody's trying to uninstall reinstall drivers just make your game work it shouldn't be that difficult update DirectX to the latest version add the game's folders and foster antivirus programs exception like this is all this stuff is like literal copy-paste. Copy-paste from typical issues that could be on a user side basis. Not them, but user errors that could happen. Let's just copy-paste and throw this up so it pretends like we care about something. And I get it. People are big fans of this game. The game itself fundamentally is great, but this stuff is just copy-paste nonsense. Um, give administrator privileges to Steve, like, copy-paste nonsense. If you're still experiencing issues, try logging into your PC and administrate. Really? Really? Verify the game's file on Steam? Alright, disable compatibility mode for Monster and Wilds.exe. If you're still experiencing issues, please also try this troubleshooting steps on the official Monster and Wilds troubleshooting and issue reporting thread posted on the Steam community pages. They uh, contain more detailed 
They also have a reporting thread. It's like, yo, why when this game crashes, do you have to like send an email? Multiple people have posted that, that you have to like write out a message or, you know, it just doesn't auto do it. Uh, it's insanity. And Capcom, y'all are making so much money off of these PC releases. Look at those concurrent player accounts for Dragon's Dogma 2. While they weren't at the Monster Hunter Wilds level, those were some spicy numbers that that game was pulling as well. Monster Hunter Wilds is north of a million players, concurrent players right now. You guys should be moving heaven and earth at this point to get Monster Hunter and your games in general running at least close to as perfect as possible. And again, this turns uh, this ends up being a huge pissing contest between console and PC fanboys. Everybody agrees is that one of the biggest drawbacks to PC version and PC gaming in general is the poor PC ports. And you could say that it's a developer issue, you could say it's a publisher issue, issue so on and so forth. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. The reality is this issue exists on PC. We just came off the release of Spider-Man 2, and yeah, Spider-Man 2, Nix has got some updates out, and now the game runs really well, uh, but that shouldn't be an issue. People are paying top dollar for these games, $70 for Monster Hunter Wild. Uh, Green Man Gaming's got it cheaper, though, if you do want to end up buying the game, my shilling over, but uh, <laughs> you get the idea. Like People are paying a lot of money. Uh, if you are releasing these games, and they are doing it this well, move heaven and earth get these games running well because ultimately how many people are also refunding the game now you know it's not significant enough where it's like we are gonna deem this game not to be a success bro it's at over a million concurrent players i was saying in videos that i thought four hundred thousand concurrent players would be a good number and then you know i was thinking seven hundred thousand would be like oh my god this is a huge success the peak concurrent player count is damn near double that. This game is a resounding success. Nobody can take that away from it. It's one of the biggest video game releases of all time. That is not hyperbole. It is legitimately that. And how this is happening be is beyond me because guess what? You are having this explosion and people checking out the game. Don't you want it to be a case of people playing this game at the best form possible? And is it playable? I think a lot of people will say that it is. 33,000 Steam reviews, 53% positive. It actually swung up from the 46% that it was at. So, you know, people are coming out. Uh, I've seen a lot of my buddies play the game. And pretty much everybody agrees that performance-wise, it's certainly playable, uh, but the visuals can look like trash, especially some of these cutscenes visuals. And needless to say, I've seen multiple people, way too many people, say that the open beta ran fine for them, and now the full release runs worse! What? So, like, what is actually going on? Okay, so this open beta, that's this older version of this game. Capcom said that they went back to the drawing board, or they went back and did some re refinements. They edited the system requirements. They released a benchmark tool. They optimized the game more. They did all of these things. So, for some people, it now runs worse. See, this is what happens with PC gaming a lot of the times when the It runs on my PC warriors come out and they're like, It runs on my uh, it's a you guys problem upgrade your GT 1030. It's like dude everybody has an upgraded PC It's just sometimes it's an absolute crap show and it's up to the Capcoms of the world to get optimization as best as possible It's never gonna be a case where it's gonna work perfectly for everyone, but for a game of this caliber it's egregious. It's absolutely egregious. And you see this a lot from the Japanese side of things on game development. But at the same time, you see Japanese games come out and run really well. Uh, the Resident Evil games, you know, different scale as far as games are concerned. But Capcom titles, they usually run really well. So why is Wilds like this? Who the hell knows? But they got to do some refinements. And I had been saying going into the release of this game, it was going to have issues. Anybody that was able to use a brain cell knew that this game was going to have issues, but people were still surprised because they got baited by the benchmark tool, and they thought, oh my god, I'm ready. It's like, bro, no, you're not ready. If you're not expecting performance issues, you're setting yourself up for failure, but just because the expectation is there for the port to be bad doesn't mean we excuse it. So the game itself, I'm sure a lot of you guys are really enjoying it, but 
Wouldn't you be enjoying it more if it was far more optimized? I don't know. That's my two cents. That'll do it for me. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Again, the the troubleshooting guide. Like, that sh that, that's copy-paste nonsense. It's clown It's clown show stuff. Uh, that's they, they literally have this in a Word doc to copy-paste for, like, Dragon's Dogma 3 whenever they come whenever that comes out, if it does. But, uh, yeah, that'll do it for me. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate it if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.